City of Chicago is now down to 15 migrant shelters after closing two locations today. The new arrivals who had been living in them relocated to other facilities and officials say the spaces are no longer needed. WGN's Brona Tumulty has more. I think the shelter uh, fulfilled its mission. This month marks the closure of three migrant shelters in Chicago, two of which already stand empty, the one in North Ogden in West Town and the Lower West Side Refuge at 22nd and Halstead. The latter hit in the headlines last year as the spot where five-year-old Giancarlos Martinez Rivero died of sepsis. 25th Ward Alderman Byron Sicho Lopez telling us today there were a lot of people living here at one time. At one point, we hosted almost uh, almost 2,600 people there. Uh, that is not the way to uh, to address the issue of unhoused residents across the city. A third shelter along Dusaba Lakeshore Drive will shutter in about three weeks' time, and collectively the three buildings will eliminate about 3,000 beds from use. City officials say they've been working in tandem with the county and the state to determine the needs of those already here and any expected or unexpected arrivals to Chicago. But there is still a massive problem when it comes to the city's homeless population, with Sigcho Lopez telling us today there are 80,000 vacant units within the private sector and more work needs to be done to get a roof over everyone's head whether they've been in Chicago for five minutes or a lifetime. There are at the same time 80,000 units uh, that are empty so we're looking into ways uh, how we can partner with other levels of government and also other private partners so that we can make sure that we fulfill those vacancies working with the state government making sure that we uh, also resettle people in a more dignified way. Now the One System initiative is something being talked about right now in Chicago. It would integrate services for the migrant and homeless populations and put them under one roof but implementation of that seems a long way off. We're on the Lower West Side, Bruno Tumulty, WGN News.